You should get the first session underway by exploring the Australian sector as a whole with Colette Rogers, partner at Deloitte. Welcome, Colette. Oh, thanks, David. Good to good to be here. I think we've got a slide that we wanted to begin with, which sort of gives us the key findings from the 2019 data. So we ran a uh, 2017 National EdTech Census, and then we ran another one in 2019, and. So between 2017 and 19, we really did see a maturing of edtech organisations in Australia. Um, and so, and, and and one of the key things, I guess, just on the volume metrics is there was a, a near doubling of, um, or it has been, if I could take us forward to 2020, a near doubling of numbers of edtech organisations. So the majority of edtech organisations, so about 75% of them, uh, had a customer base outside of Australia. And really the key challenges um, just on that final point are around uh, certainly the shifting to, you know, and, and that focus in the international overseas markets, but also um, finding talent. You know, the global context is really important and also the global outlook is really positive. Um, by 2025, which isn't too far away, um, there'll be half a billion more students than there are today. And that's obviously globally and that's um, school and across school and tertiary education.